Good morning, this is the KSL Fastcast. Today is Tuesday, October 29th. I'm Cher Park. Attempted murder charges have been filed against three people, including a 17-year-old in connection with a drive-by shooting in Currents. The shooting happened last Monday, and bullets were fired towards a man playing in his front yard with three children. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but police believe the shooting was, in fact, gang-related. In court documents today, the woman police say is a motive for murder is expected to continue her testimony in the Martin McNeil trial. Gypsy Willis testified on Friday that she and McNeil had a sexual relationship that started in 2006 and continued through the time of McNeil's wife's death. McNeil is accused of murder and has pleaded not guilty again to his wife's death. Her name, Michelle. And later today, the Board of Education for the Jordan School District will hear arguments about the proposed $495 million bond to improve and build schools. The bond would mean 11 more schools in the growing district, but would cost homeowners about 300 bucks a year. Opponents say the district would add more schools with less money than it's asking for. And let's check out the fast cast forecast for today. Salt Lake with a high of 50. We're going to have scattered showers all throughout the valley. Up in the mountains, we're looking at snow already. Parley's is really getting hit right now. And then down through St. George, same thing. Kind of a mixed bag day, as Grant would call it. Showers throughout the valleys. And that's the fast cast for this Tuesday. Make it a good one. See ya.